Hey, you're watching Rockin' and Rollin'. I'm Dan. I'm Jenna. And we're the Thompsons. Why are you laughing at me? Because <laughs> I forgot that it was my line. <laughs> I was laughing at me. Hey, you're watching Rockin' and or Rollin'. Hey, you're watching Rockin' and Rollin'. Hey, guys. You're watching Rockin' and Rollin'. I'm Dan. I'm Jenna. And we're the Thompsons. We've got a story. <laughs> I almost forgot my line. We need to secure this one. There we go. Perfect. You need to stand I don't in like that square. Being close to you. You need to be in that square. You smell. You gotta be in the square or else you're not in focus. This square right here is where the focus happens. See? It's right there. Square. Hey, you're watching Rockin' and Rollin'. I'm Dan. I'm Jenna. And we're the Thompsons. And we've got a story to tell you. Again, because we lost the footage for the first one. So we're refilming. <laughs> tell them that. As you, well, you can't really see, but I was going to say, as you can see, we're not in Texas. Yep. But you can't really see that because all you can see is a fence and a house. That's right. That's we're in an undisclosed. Guys, we are in Waco, Texas. <laughs> we're in an undisclosed <laughs> secret location. So last time we left you guys, we were leaving Lake Texoma, Texas, headed mm -hmm. towards Waco. Yeah, we, that was definitely on our. <laughs> it's going to keep happening. We'll keep happening. <laughs> yeah, it's going to keep happening, all those cars. Waco was on our list for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was that, of course, everyone says you have to visit the silos. And what the heck is the name? Joanna, Chip and Joanna Gaines? See, I don't even know them. I don't follow them, but we were told it's amazing and you have to go check it out. So that was on our list. And Dan's ultimate dream. Ultimate dream. It's just a bucket <laughs> list thing. Okay, Dr. Pepper played a huge role in my childhood. So I had to see- Mine too. Had to see the Dr. Pepper Museum, yes. of course, while we were there. In fact, that was probably the main reason why we went to Waco, Along honestly. With, uh, Crowder. <laughs> David Crowder? Yeah. It's from Waco, Texas, yeah. yeah. That was the other thing. But I mean, we can't go see Dave, David we'd, Crowder. Yeah, we didn't see him. <laughs> we looked around for him. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we found a little RV park. I don't even remember the name of it now. Brazos. Brazo, you Brazo. have a good memory yeah. on the river or whatever. Uh -huh. um, you know why I remember it? Why? Because the address is still in our Amazon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did get packages delivered there. Yes, they allowed us to accept packages. Brazo RV Resort. And actually, Lake, there was a cute little hike that we jaunted down to. I think I have some video footage of that. And, mm -hmm. But we didn't really stay much there. We just Yeah. Stayed. It was really just a place to stay so we could do those other things that we wanted to do. Yeah, full hookups. Yep. So. We're only there for a week. And... We, like Jenna mentioned, we checked out the silos, and boy, were those... Something. <laughs> just okay. I think if you're a Chip and Joanna Gaines fan, it's yep. going to be different for you. We don't watch the Chip and Joanna Gaines show. What's that show even called? <laughs> I know. Chip and Gaines. I think it's just called Chip and... No, it's uh, not it's like, called It's like something about flipping houses. I don't know. See? See? It shows how much we yeah. know about anyway, it. Anyway, if you're into a bunch of like shabby chic decor and overpriced food trucks, then you might be into <laughs> it. But The food trucks were good. I have to be honest. Um, we did try out the restaurant because we were told the restaurant was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. Yeah. We are at Magnolia Table. Apparently, it's one of the things that you should do when you're in Waco. Check out the Magnolia silos. Did I say that correct? And so we're starting out at the breakfast table. The Magnolia table. The Magnolia breakfast table. <laughs> I, think I, see I don't really get the appeal of this fountain. Seriously? It's literally just three pipes yeah, into a cement tub. You just don't understand. <laughs> I guess I'm just not with it. Like, there's no waterfall. The water doesn't go up. It's like I. It's like I just walked into a third world bathroom and turned on all the faucets. Thank you. You're welcome. And the creamer's at the end of the bar. Huh? Okay, thanks. It's a room. You can go on each side. I got some world famous pancakes that our server said that her cousin comes back three times a week to have. So how could I not try pancakes that are good enough to eat three times a week? Well. Now that I'm on the spot. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's three times a week good, but it's, it's good really for this week. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. Am I trying to eggs? They're good. No, I have my own egg. 
I, I think it was overhyped. There are better values for your money. <laughs> But again, if you're into that thing and you want to do it. But I don't want to sound negative because it was really cool. Yeah. I mean, what they've done there is really, really neat. It, and it would have been more enjoyable if the weather wasn't so overcast. It was really cold and cloudy that day. They didn't have like all the chairs and the, because when we saw pictures of it, there was like lounge chairs out and people were hanging out and playing. And it really wasn't like that there when we went. Um, in fact, they had all the lounge chairs like piled up and you yeah. couldn't get them out. And they had some of the toys out for the kids, the kids to play with, and but then they took it away from them. <laughs> yeah, and then the kid broke one of their shabby chic light bulbs. <laughs> and so then they came around and confiscated all the balls for the kids to play so with. Negative. How did I know I planned to do the sweet tea line? Well, we finally we waited in line for a ball to play with, and then as soon as we got it, the staff came up and told us they were putting all the balls away because people keep breaking the lights. Oh no! <laughs> Aww. So they came and took it right out of Hartley's hands. But the stores were really cool. The garden area is beautiful. No, look at all the watering cans and the digging stuff and the garden stuff. Who do you think would like that? Me. I'm Auntie Kira from Shishi. Oh, Shishi. Hey, should we take a picture of it and send it to Grandma Shishi? This video probably will work for that. If you're into it, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, if you're into the decor and stuff like that, I, you know, it is cool. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to say don't check it out because obviously if you love that stuff, go check it out. It's cool. You know what was cool though? Yeah. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper Museum. It was super cool, actually. We got to make a homeschool day out of it because uh -huh. number one, it's a museum. And uh -huh. number two, they give you a homeschool educator discount. That's right. It was a pretty significant discount too. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So but. we asked them if they did and they did. And so we were able to go in and there. They have like a science like lab thing where you get to go sit and watch them like mix the flavors and the kids uh -huh. get to get involved and taste things and yeah. that was really cool. So that was yeah. a neat experience. There's a cool hands-on area where you get to like try to figure out different smells and things which is kind of kind of cool. I don't know. Take a guess. Uh, strawberry. Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> I guess that one. <laughs> orange. That's orange? Yeah. These are hard to guess. I'm telling you. That's, not, no, that's new car smell. <laughs> well, you got to see how um, the stuff is like bottled up and packaged yeah. on like a machine. And you get to see all the old school equipment from when it was like made like originally back in the like, I don't know, early 1900s. Yeah, and all the like evolve evolving that Dr. Yeah. Pepper went through. It was like, they yeah. thought it was an elixir at one point. Yeah. <laughs> It's time to enjoy that wonderful winter warmer, hot Dr. Pepper. And it's so easy. Heat Dr. Pepper or diet. And, it, and the museum is not just about Dr. Pepper. It's actually kind of like a history of carbonated beverages yeah. museum. So you kind of learn the whole history of it, which is pretty cool. But it's really cool. Some museums you go into and they're real chintzy. This was not that. It was a very neat museum. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nectar of the gods. <laughs> I especially like that manly straw you're drinking out of. That's right. Dr. Pepper 10, it ain't for women. <laughs> Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. <laughs> as far as the town Waco itself, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's, uh, you know, it's interesting to hear about how Chip and Joanna Gaines have really kind of turned it around since the, I think there was a big tornado that went through there and kind of wrecked the town. But it's under construction seemingly everywhere we drove. Yeah. So it's very confusing driving in the town. Mm -hmm. um, but people were friendly. Yeah. Barbecue was oh, amazing. Yeah. What was the name of that place? Hellberg. It's like a family owned business. I think they used to be like a truck. Um, and then they got so big that they opened their own place. And I tried burnt ends for the first time. I fell in love. And you can't get burnt ends like anywhere, like real burnt no. ends, like, you know, so. Some and restaurants it was a hard time. Make, make the fake kind, but like real burnt ends, you have to go to a legit <sighs> Texas barbecue there place There is to order. nothing like Texas barbecue. I mean, since then, mm -hmm. I've been disappointed in barbecue. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so get yourself some Texas barbecue. 
Um, That's right. So towards the end of our week, um, we had actually planned to head south down to the Houston area. Yeah. And a lot of our reservations and things weren't panning out. Everything was shutting down from COVID. So remember, this is about nine months ago. And this was in uh, February or March, I think. It was mm -hmm. before everyone, everything got really COVID crazy. Yes. People were kind of like, is this a thing? Is it not a thing? And then while we were there in Waco, that's when the United States decided this is a thing. Yeah. And so there were all those rumors of martial law and lockdowns and stuff. Are you guys ready for a long trip? Yeah. yeah. Where are we headed now? To um, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. 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 Um, Arizona. Why? Because, because all the, the museums are closing. Because why? Because of the coronavirus. Because of the coronavirus. Yeah. So everybody's freaked out about that. Should what? they be? What? Should they be? No. Why? Because God is with them. That's right. God is on the throne. Mm -hmm. Right? God with throne healness. God is on the throne, which means he rules, he reigns. Huh. He makes it rain to make the sickness go away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Then he's cleaning the mirrors with his shirt. So we had plans to go to Houston, um, and then we had plans to go through the south, Louisiana, Alabama, that area. And then those plans got changed because of COVID. So we are headed home to hunker down while this craziness passes. So we're gonna book it back to good old Arizona. That's right. It's what we're calling home, even though we don't actually have a home there. We, we have do family have, there. We have friends and family there. <laughs> That's close enough. Yep. That's what home really is, right? Yep. Thousand trails were closing down. Museums were closing down. Everything we yeah, wanted to do. State parks, all the places that we planned to stay, they were all shutting down. So yeah. we just decided, you know, let's get close to friends and family. So we just booked it back to Arizona and just did a couple quick overnighters. Yeah, we stayed uh, at a Cracker Barrel. Was that the first time we stayed at a Cracker Barrel at that point? I feel like that might have been um, I our think first it was our first Cracker Barrel, yeah. Cracker Barrel stay. Um, and it's a little tricky in the truck and fifth wheel, especially mm -hmm. our fifth wheel, because when all the slides are in, like nothing's accessible except our bedroom and one bathroom. The kids' bunk room's not accessible. Mm -hmm. So that's tricky because the you kitchen. have to try to pull yeah. things out mm -hmm. <laughs> while you're trying to save space where you're staying. Um, and a Class A pulled up next to us while we were staying there. They never got out. They slept that night and they just took off the next morning. Yep. And I was like, all right, I want a class. <laughs> hey, I know. We were just thinking like, okay, you know, you got to push the slides out. In order to do that, you got to get level. In order to do that, you got to detach from the truck. Mm -hmm. And so it's like this big ordeal for just one night in a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, and, and we, we ended these... up eating dinner at the Cracker Barrel and breakfast because it was too hard for us to cook. Uh-huh. Unless we pulled a slide out. Right. We stayed the night here? We did. Yep. <laughs> First time? Yes, we're First time in a Cracker Barrel parking lot. Three days. Where are we trying to get to? Um, to yeah, Arizona. Because of the Corona Rock. Pine Rock. So it ended up probably costing more than if we just stayed in an RV park for the night. Um, and we thought sure. it'd be easier. And it just, it wasn't. It wasn't. And so that's when we kind of really, we had already been thinking about it and talking about it before, but we kind of really decided that we were going, at that point, when we saw that happen, that yeah. other couple come in and we never even saw them and they took off they the next day. They didn't their detach their car, whatever they yeah. had, I don't remember. But and then they took off and I was like, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so we booked it back to Arizona. And then we're, the day after we got there is when the lockdowns happened. Yes. So the mandatory <laughs> yeah. 14 days or whatever um, ended up being, I think, two months that we were there. And so we decided that we were just going to use that as an opportunity to change up our rig. Yeah. So if you want <laughs> to know the story of what rig... <laughs> so, so if you want to know the story of how we got our new rig and uh, all that we had to do to it to make it road ready for a family of four full-time living, then definitely subscribe because season two has already been released early to our patrons. Yep. So thank you, uh, Patreon supporters. You guys have already gotten to see the first couple of yes. episodes of season two, but those are actually gonna start coming right at you, I think probably next week. Yeah. So um, yeah, be excited. And if you want more up-to-date information on where we're at, 
feel free on where we at. <laughs> where more we of, at? <laughs> if you no. want more up-to-date information <laughs> on where we at, then check out Patreon. Yes. Um, and we're going to be, I'm just going to give you a hint. So we've been traveling in our new rig for about six months now. And we have decided we're going to keep it. And so now we are going to start a renovation project. Yeah. So Patreon supporters, you guys get to see that firsthand. Yeah. And then it will be released as season three. Yeah. Also, gear. If you want any cool gear. Let's adjust the exposure oh. so that gear is visible. Check out my sweet hoodie. My sweet rock and rolling hoodie. Yeah. Check know, out her sweet hoodie on the back. <laughs> And Sweet. check out this sweet hoodie. This yeah. is Guns and Guitars. Yeah, it's a different channel. Don't worry about that one. Yeah. No, you can still buy this. Okay, you, you can, can still buy, buy this. Yeah. Okay, we'll put a link where you can buy this too. <laughs> but we have some rock and rolling gear, um, and we have some Guns and Guitar gear. Uh, any of that goes toward, well, we can't say that on this video, can we? We just told them that we're renovating our new RV. Oh. <laughs> so, so yes. yes, any of that that you purchase goes towards our renovation fund. Yep. Because there was a lot of unforeseen yeah. issues. Which you'll find out about in season two. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm, oh, no, that's the wrong <laughs> channel. Remember, Life I thought Rocks. I was going to say, I'm Dan again. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Oh, no, that's wrong channel. not that channel. However, this is that channel. This is Guns and Guitars. <laughs> I'm still Dan, oh, by the way. Oh, and this is, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Check all it, guns dude. I'm, like, rocking, <laughs> rocking the merch today. Oh, it's, just, it's just my favorite clothes. It's so comfortable, and it looks so good. So it is my favorite. You did a great job. Thanks, babe. Mwah. Remember, life rocks. You have lipstick on you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll wear it proudly. Life rocks. When your home rolls. That's right. <laughs> Life rocks. When your home rolls. <laughs>